I'm going to be really honest with you. I know you're scared right now. I know any time a violent or senseless crime happens somewhere in the world, you see the words Islamic or Muslims in the headline. I know it sounds like Islam is the problem. But we have to ask ourselves, is Islam really the root cause of all these fears? Is Islam actually to blame for what's going on in the world? Well, let's figure it out together. Let's start with Omar Mateen, the man who was responsible for the Orlando shootings. According to many reputable sources, he was described as an extreme alcoholic, an active homosexual, and a man who would frequently beat and abuse his wife. He was described as being a man that was mentally unstable and not a devout Muslim. Clearly this man led a life that could hardly be called Islamic by anyone. So should we blame Islam and the teachings of Islam for being the motivation for his crime? And let's look at Muhammad Bulel, who drove a truck through a sea of innocent people in France, killing over 80 people. He was also an alcoholic and a frequent drug user. His father said about him that he doesn't pray and doesn't fast and has no connection with any of these things. French police also said that he was known for his petty crimes. In fact, the very first person to be run down in Nice was a Muslim. You can see the victims of the attack wearing hijab and wearing Islamic clothing. Muslims lost family, friends and loved ones in these attacks. So should we blame Islam and the teachings of Islam for this crime as well? You'll like this one. A leaked document by MI5 in the UK stated that a large number of those involved in terrorism do not practice their faith regularly. Many lack religious literacy and could be regarded as religious novices. That means that these people didn't learn about Islam and then become motivated to kill people. Actually, the opposite is true. They had no idea what Islam was about. What's also important to note is that regardless of all of the above, the mere fact that a man would kill innocent people is enough evidence that a person is not religious. For the killing of innocent people in Islam is one of the gravest sins that a human being can commit. Something condemned over and over again in the Quran and Islamic doctrine. Here's another very important point. Whatever we call them, terrorists or extremists or murderers, they have killed hundreds of Muslims, thousands of Muslims. Let's not forget the attacks that have taken place in Iraq, in Turkey, in Syria, and maybe most critically, at the mosque of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in Medina, in Saudi Arabia, just meters from where he's buried. So can we still say that these people are Muslims who are following teachings of Islam when they bomb a mosque? Compare those lives to the lives of Abdul Sattar Idhi, who helped the needy for 60 years and ran the world's largest ambulance service. Or Muhammad Ali, who refused to go to war because he didn't want to kill innocent people. This is the real Islam, the Islam that I believe in, and the Islam that's a force for compassion and mercy in the world. Whatever the reasons are for these attacks, be it politics or money or unstable minds or foreign policy decisions or just violent men, given their lifestyle, how can we say that Islam was their motivation? And lastly, a sincere message to anyone who's watching this. The world feels like a crazy place right now. If you want to know about Islam, go and find out. Go to your local mosque, have a conversation, chat to a Muslim co-worker. This is an opportunity for all of us globally to come together and face the things that threaten all of us. It's not Islam that you need to be afraid of.